This is uh, the mayor's conference room we're looking at. Just a uh, part of the uh, mayoral office suite here. This is, uh, your suite is probably as larger, uh, larger than the Oval Office, I think, Bill. <laughs> if, if we look. It could be. And do you wield as much power in Riverwoods as the... Uh, Not quite. Not quite. Our, our army people, is much smaller. I keep telling people that I'm not Mayor Daly. We're in the mayor's office in the village of Riverwoods with Bill Kaplan and Sherry Kaplan. By way of disclosure, I go back almost 35 years with Bill. He was a legal client and then a partner. And I met Sherry 27 years ago, I think. 21 years, we'll be married now, uh, July 23rd. Congratulations, and you've lived in Riverwoods for how long now? Uh, since 1990, so it's been 20 years. And you've been mayor since? 10 years. 10 years. T since 2000, February 29th, 2000. Okay, uh, when's the next election up? Uh, 2013. A little early task whether you'll be running. It's early task. <laughs> My wife uh, wants me to run and I'm ready to retire, so we'll see who wins. Bill, well, you've, uh, you've been in the real estate business for quite a few years. You, 51 you, years. 51 years. You yes. ran a very successful real estate office in, uh, was that Morton Grove or where was that? I ran an office in Chicago, one in Morton Grove, uh, one in Lincolnwood. Uh, those were my own firms and I uh, managed uh, uh, Merrill Lynch in uh, Highland Park, which later became Prudential, which is now Coldwell Banker. Coldwell Banker. You managed uh, an office for the Habitat Company in Chicago for a while? I managed the Habitat Company in Chicago for two years. And you've been a successful real estate developer also? Yes, I have. Why, uh, and you lived in Highland Park, I think, for a number of years. I lived in Highland Park uh, for th three years, three or four years. So you, you know pretty much every place in, in the northern suburbs. Uh, the northern suburbs has been much my stamping grounds, yes. Why, out of all the options you had available, would you pick Riverwoods? It's a beautiful place to live, and my wife loves it here. When we met, I told him I always wanted to live in the woods and Bill developed condominiums. And we actually had a condominium on the west side of North Bacourt. Bill developed the condominiums on the east side of North Bacourt. And we owned a condominium on the west side of North Bacourt. And I just felt that there were too many people too close to me. I couldn't deal with it. I said, I want to live in the woods. And our first house, which you've been to, Joe, um, was at the end of the road in the woods. It was almost like a gravel road, if I remember. It was, it was a, gra a gravel road. It was road. a gravel road. In fact, uh, it was one of the last gravel roads in Riverwoods to be finished. Uh, there's only one gravel road left in, River in Riverwoods right now. And Riverwoods is the kind of place where people don't really always want their roads paved. That's that correct. No. That is correct. Uh, if it gets really, really, really bad and uh, roads get so rutted, uh, that's really what possesses them to uh, finish the road. So A lot of people think cars go too fast if the roads are paved. But if I remember, you had uh, horses at the time, too. I still have a horse. You still have a horse. But when we got married, Bill told me he didn't shovel. So although we have a three-stall <laughs> barn on our property, my horse is at a stable up in Medawa. Okay. I keep it there, but I've always had I've had horses for years. Are there people who do have horses in Riverwoods still? Lots there? of people. Yeah, there must be about twenty horses still in Riverwoods. Are, are there trails for them to follow? Uh, there are trails. Yeah, there is trails uh, through. Um, you can Lake cook County. into the Cook County trails and the Lake County. Lake County trails and Cook County trails from here. And uh, what are the other attractions? To not everybody's attracted purely to the woods and the lifestyle. What what other attractions are there that bring people here? The large lots and, and trees uh, and the privacy. It's tremendous. The people privacy. who love privacy and don't want to feel hemmed in by other people. This is a great place to live. So you're almost like a northeastern version of Wayne. It's if you know you know Wayne. I don't yes, know. I just was there. Yeah. Uh, I was just in St. Charles, and yeah. it's very much like the area down in St. Charles. Big, spacious lots, lots of friendly neighbors, but they keep to themselves unless you need their help. Um, nobody's in your business. You have absolute privacy, 
and you can enjoy the beauty of the out of doors. There's a lot of hiking trails, a lot of biking trails. You can hook up. You can go from the biking trails right here on Deerfield Road all the way into Chicago. Riverwoods is too small to have its own school system, so yes, it does. we use the Deerfield schools, and we use the which uh, are our top the Stevenson School District also. Yeah, on, on about one about twenty five percent of the village goes to Stevenson, and the other seventy five percent goes, goes to, to Deerfield, Deerfield schools. And yeah. Stevenson is a very well known name, very and good. so is Deerfield. Deerfield yeah. and Stevenson both are our number one top schools. schools. Top schools. I would guess that another attraction for River Woods is that you're directly off of I-294. Yes, a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes you can get to O'Hare. You're, we're it's O'Hare. It's 25 20, minutes to O'Hare. Actually, it's 20 minutes to O'Hare, but, yeah. but you allow for a little traffic. Us, uh, so us, maybe. us North Shore people are jealous, so let's not. <laughs> yeah, and, and <laughs> let's not talk and about. And then when they're not much. repairing the Eden Spur, which they're doing currently. Um, you can get right, it, it's such a perfect location because you can be downtown in about a half hour. You can take the Eden Spur and be downtown in a half hour. And then there's also the train. And you have a huge employment corridor up here too. Yes we do, we have, uh, we have uh, CCA, that's CCA, well, and that's now, uh, I can't even name it. The there's Discover. This, Discover. We, uh, Discover, the Discover's got uh, almost um, 3,000 employees right now. In, and in Riverwoods? In Riverwoods. And uh, they're equipped to go to as much as 5,000. They were going to do it, but when the economy hit, they did not expand. There's also a large uh, corporate uh, complex and uh, conference center. What is it? Walter or what is it? Walter's Kluwer. Walter's which Kluwer. Which was a former uh, CCH. Oh, okay. So that's part of uh, CCH? Right. Well, no, they, bought, they bought out CCH. They bought out CCH. Right. Okay. It's not a nightlife center, it's not a restaurant center, no, but, no. Uh, but we, do, have, we do have Jimmy's Char House, which is one of the famous restaurants on the North Shore. And, and we would the, like to take you there for dinner, <laughs> if you're no, available. Another, another time, I'll take a rain check. Okay. But uh, you're close to Northbrook Court. Yeah, you're close to Northbrook Court, you're close to Highland Park, you're close to Deerfield. Bannockburn, and there's Bannock great Burn. shopping in Bannockburn. Uh, you're close to Buffalo Grove, and Milwaukee Avenue has got the best restaurants in the world up here. You got Bob Chin's, you got uh, um, Wildfire. Wild